Hey guys, what the heck is going on? Sam here, Team Bro here with John Gregory. We are here at the NAWCQ 2018. We're in Fort Worth, Texas. And this guy said, Do you want to play some 2002? And I said, Yes. And he showed me one of the coolest 2002 decks that I've ever seen. And he just 2 0 me. And this is honestly, in theory, one of the coolest things I've ever seen, like an old school Yu Gi Oh! period. So. Alright, so this is a uh, fusion deck. It's a uh, Metal Dragon Turbo, kind of, with a little bit of control. So first of all, we got three Metal Dragon. It's like the highest attack fusion besides Gaia. So we play him, and we'll kind of explain why later. Then we play one of the best monsters in this format, La Jin. He's uh, 1800 attack, so there's really no reason not to play him. And we play <laughs> three Steel Org uh, Ogre Grotto. Um, you'll find out why. I mean, this is a... I've never had such a hard time outing <laughs> stuff like this. It, it gets crazy, it's crazy. Uh, yeah. So his, his oh. defense matters because uh, if your opponent has Legion and they're trying to attack into him, it, if they don't have reinforcements, it's, it makes it hard to get over him, so it becomes relevant. And, and he can't be trapped home. Because exactly. Yeah. So we're never normal summoning these guys, ever. We want to tribute set him, and uh, that's a very old mechanic. That what is it, like you wait for your opponent to attack into him? And then you just switch them to attack if you need to? Yeah, if you want to beat yeah. them down a bit, then you can. Uh, like, fissure them and then beat them down. So then, to pair that off, we got, actually, the, I would say the worst monster in the deck, but you have to play it for the fusion. And uh, so it's Lesser Dragon. It's bad stats, but you need it for the fusion, so we play Next, we play uh, two Reaper of the Cards. Really weird stats on him. But uh, he, uh, you always tribute set this guy, and... Uh, People are, so you're either tribute summoning or tribute setting, sorry, uh, this uh, Steel O Grotto or um, Reaper of the Cards. Well, so. And then it becomes like a mind game at that point because <laughs> yeah. I thought you were setting with Grotto earlier or something, and then so like I tacked into it, and then you, yeah, you know, it's, it's just crazy. Oh my gosh! And he uh, causes instant scoops because of his, because of the 30 stat. And then we play uh, best removal. One of the best removals is uh, Man in a Book. Sure. Uh, you never want to set this turn uh, turn one because yeah. it'll just get swords and it hurts really bad. Then one of my favorites is uh, Wall Illusion. So um, this is your turn one play usually, setting this guy. Uh, you, your turn one play is either setting this or summoning no monster. Uh, life points is a resource, so you're not going to get OTK'd in this format very much. Then I play one of the best cards, uh, Wicked Worm Beast. Um, as uh, Sam said in one of his other videos, this is one of the best cards in the format. Uh, People didn't forces, realize it back then. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and, and to quote you best, he is Spear Monster before we had Spear Monster, so kind of a card ahead of its time. Then we yeah. play uh, Monster Reborn, Raigeki. Um, the Power 5. Yeah, Dark Hole. Yeah. A lot of greed. And Change Heart, Change Heart. Um, these, these two are for two purposes, if you're mad ahead in card advantage, just get rid of your opponent's last monster and kill him. Just go one for one. Yeah. yeah. A lot of times you want to save this for when your opponent is starting to overextend, they don't think you're a board wipe, and then you just kind of play the uh, card advantage game. Monster Reborn is just getting back Lodge in, or um, even, uh, what's it, a uh, Wall of Illusion sometimes. Pot of Greed is Pot of Greed. Change Heart, you want to tribute off their guys preferably. Then we got... Another combo piece is uh, Last Will. So this one is a little weird. It searches your, uh, searches your uh, polar yeah. targets. It's yeah. it, it, so good. It searches Lesser Dragon, and it searches Steel O Grotto, and it searches the Worm Beast, which is also a good play. Or potentially Wall Illusion if you needed to, yeah. but not usually. Yeah, right? if, you're, if you're looking for a defensive play, then, then you could do that. So it searches those. And, um, the three fissure. So just more removal. Uh, fun fact: this deck plays more removal than any other deck in this format because you max out on the fissures. Soul Exchange is a removal piece. Um, wall is a removal piece, and so is Man in Your Boat. So all those. Speaking of Soul Exchange, free Soul Exchange. This is for your tribute setting. Um, you always want to tribute set face down monsters if you can. That way you're tributing over a man-eater bug and kind of getting rid of that problem. Then the three polymerization for making your uh, metal dragon. You don't want to just like 
you don't want to activate this car in like turn one right away. You don't activate this le later in the game to when you're whittling your opponent down on their actual monster count because you're playing so much removal. Okay. And um, it sucks to draw multiple sometimes, but this is for your, you know, your metal dragon play. It's you don't want to do it all at once. You don't want to do it first. So maybe set this in your back row as kind of a bluff. Then later, once you've whittled, whittle them down on resources, you activate it. Then uh, one of the best cards, Chapel. Um, having an empty board is fine as long as you have that. Totally okay. And then uh, the block card, two reverse trap. Oh my gosh, this card, guys. It, oh, the card's really good. Oh my God, this card. This card right here. <laughs> It's, so why, why is Reverse Trap so good in this deck? Um, because most decks actually play reinforcements, except for Burn. Um, and you don't play a single reinforcement. Yeah, correct. That's crazy, so man. this card does the work for you, and your monsters are already so big in defense or so high in attack that you don't have to really worry about reinforcements because you're not playing guys like uh, Neo or Battleox that need that extra help. Um, and you, you're not attacking over face downs, you're triggering over them usually, or you're just passing turn with yeah. no monsters on field and they have a face down so that's kind of this this deck requires a bit of mind games but it's a lot of fun and uh i'm glad that we we're able to explore this dude format he was freaking awesome yeah, yeah, he he's swift two owed me just now guys <laughs> i'm serious I, I looked at it and i was like oh this is interesting you know thinking that he was trying to you know explore outside of whatever and then um it honestly like trying to keep up with the advantage and like the the beat down that this deck can hand out is actually really hard so yeah. uh it, it it in the mind games that it plays too it's it, it's, it's really good I, I was super impressed and i was like dude we have to get this on camera so <laughs> hope you guys like this and you said your name was one more time uh john gregory camera. right on and what, what would you call this deck since you are the inventor of it um i would say uh use me a mechanical chaser mechanical chaser yeah <laughs> the 1850 yeah all right man thank you so much thank you